Hey Gospel Guitarist here with another installment on the Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer. To start off I'm going to recap the last two videos I did concerning the expression pedal setup because it's vital to understand those first before I enter into the uh, expression switch tab right here. I've already done videos on the control and I'm just going to quickly go through these so that you can see what my setup is doing. Um, right now I am in my uh, user patch for nylon guitar with strings which involve just a string section and a contrabass string section. So of course you enter the edit mode and then go into your control, uh, GK control pedal setup, hit enter, and it brings you back here. So real quick, okay, I'm not going to explain everything on these because I already did videos on these. In the expression pedal, you're setting up the function of the pedal itself. Okay, not the switch underneath, only the pedal. When you move the pedal up and down, what do you want it to do? And there's a whole bunch of things you can have that doing. And on my patch, I'm doing tone volume for my my string section not my guitar so the string tones are turned on and my modeling tone for the guitar is turned off so we page over to ex the expression pedal on function while the on function is turned on when you step with your toe hard enough to turn on your expression pedal light right here next to your pedal when that comes on whatever you have assigned it as a function it will start doing so if it was like a volume pedal you could change it into a wah pedal on my patch I have it set up as a pitch bend covering an octave so I can go from a normal note to an octave higher when I turn that on that's an important thing to remember is the expression on the light will come on because you step on the switch now Here's where it gets interesting. Page over to expression switch. Well, didn't we just cover a switch? Yes, we did. Now, I would have called this EXP on 2 because that's essentially what it is. It's a second setup that you can make active when you hit one switch. So right now mine is set to default in the off mode. So that means it's just not going to use whatever I program here. It's just not it's just going to ignore it. So when I hit the on switch, it's just going to turn on my pitch bender and that's it. But if I turn this to on, now you can see where it says on. That white line doesn't show up worth help it all on camera. So <laughs> and I have it set to a delay switch. Now you have all kinds of things in here that you could set this to, your reverb, amplifiers, multi-effects, you know, all of the things that you could assign your other expression on switch to apply here as well. So I have it set to a delay switch. And the light has come on over here because I turned it on in the program. So for now, I'll turn that back off. So when you hit the switch with your toe on my patch, two things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to go from a volume pedal for my strings. It's going to turn my volume pedal into a pitch shifter for pitching up to one full octave. And at the same time, it's going to turn on my delay, all with hitting my toe switch underneath my pedal. So think of XP on as the first operation and the XP switch as a secondary operation. So you want to make sure that that's off because if you're just doing some things you're not going to want that switch to be activating other things in here. So its default setting is off. But you can open a whole wide array of things here it took me a little while to figure that out. The manual didn't help a whole lot on this. Um, 
they gave uh, the usual list of things that you can assign to it but not really how it's used so now that is how it's used it's basically a secondary setup for the same switch that your XP on switch is which is your your pedal switch so I hope that's clear as mud um, just for a little demo here let me get out back to my patch I do have my guitar plugged in and so if I back off the volume pedal and the switch is turned off I have my nylon guitar okay now as I turn the pedal I step on the pedal I'm the pedal is actually on a music stand right now so I'm using my hand to adjust the pedal So that's a strings section volume. So I can bring the strings in and bring them out with my foot. And if you notice, no delay. I do have reverb. Now if I push the pedal on, now the pedal is going to change its function. To my pitch, my pitch bender. And you have a delay going. Okay. And the pitch bender is only going to affect my string section because that's what the pitch bender is assigned to. And the delay is only going to affect my nylon guitar because that's what that's assigned to. So I can got a lot of variation that I can do with this patch now. So, I want to thank the uh, viewer for, I can't remember what you called yourself, but um, here's your new video. Uh, I had somebody, um, kind of a fan, saying he liked my videos and wanted to see this next. So, I finally got this out, and I hope you like it, and I hope that everyone else finds it as useful as I have. And it's been a learning experience, and it's been a fun morning playing with my gear. So, get yours out and start playing with yours. You can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, like and share the video. Thanks for watching.